What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome to the top five silver strikers in Ultimate Team. You guys requested it. It's here, live and in demand. And if you enjoy this type of series, you enjoy this content, smash that like button. Let's try to go for 500 plus. And if you could drop a comment and let me know which players do you agree with, who do you disagree with, what's your top five looking like, I'm always open for suggestions. And before I jump into this, if you guys need Ultimate Team Coins, check out FIFAcoinstoday.com. The links will be in the description, and make sure to use the code MikeS09. M-I-C-H-S-09 in order to get an additional 10% off on every single purchase. To start off, we've got the honorable mentions, and these fellas just missed the cut. We've got my main man, Freddie Montero, used to play in the MLS. He's 5'9", 4-star weak foot, 4-star skill moves, 84 agility, 82 acceleration. He has the long shot taker trait, and he's just a premier primetime goal scorer. He can shoot, he can finish from anywhere on the pitch, good from distance. Unfortunately, he lacks some pace if you're not that good with the skill moves, and that's kind of why I left him off my top 5. And speaking of skill moves, we got my man, Wallison. 5'10", the Brazilian, 5-star skill moves. He's a lot of skill run potential. He's better at shooting than his stats may suggest. 90 sprint speed, 85 acceleration, 80 shot power, but he is not strong on the ball. You will be able to get him shoved around. He will get pushed off, and then we've got Mayuka. High-low work rate, which is perfect. 5'10", tries to beat the offside trap. 4-star weak foot, 4-star skill moves, and he's a burner. And he moves very nicely. 91 acceleration, 90 agility, 90 sprint speed, 79 for jumping. And I really enjoyed using him. Unfortunately, he still is a little bit weak. And that's kind of what I popped him off my top five. He's also not the best passer in the world. On to the second section of honorable mentions, and we've got another Colombian, Riascos. 5'10", 3-star weak foot, 4-star skill moves, has the flair trait, 92 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, 83 jumping, and 84 strength. And he's great overall, you can cross to him, he offers you a little bit more of a complete perspective. Unfortunately, he plays in a bad league, and he has very weak shot power in my opinion. I know it says it is a 75, but I could not drive the ball from distance whatsoever, it had to be from within the box. Then we've got another Brazilian, Jobson, five-star skiller, five foot eight, and he's really good. He's got a 92 acceleration, 83 jumping, 81 agility, and something that's a little bit out of the ordinary. 79 strength for a skiller. He's just an average finisher, and he could have a better weak foot. I couldn't put my finger on it, but he's missing something to keep him out of that top five, and there's a lot of great choices that are coming up. Trust, there's a lot. Then we've got ah this Asian guy. I think it's Kihin. Kihin. I can't say his name. I'm, I'm ruining it. He's six foot one. He's 35 years old. Five star weak foot. Three star skill moves. High low work rates. And he's exceptional. He's a standout performer. I think Finch actually talked about him in a video recently. 87 acceleration. 86 strength. 84 sprint speed. 81 shot power. 80 shot power. Excuse me. 82 crossing. You name it, he can do it. He's getting better with age. Got that Dean Natale syndrome. Boom, and we're into the countdown. We've got half man, half tank, Malapa. Six foot three, three star weak foot, three star skill moves. And last year, he was phenomenal. And this year, he's been downgraded just a tad, but he's still at the top. He's a premium in terms of silver strikers, 87 sprint speed, 85 strength. He's got decent dribbling numbers, and he's just extremely powerful. He's good in the air. He's easy to play with. He comes in at number five because he is a bit clumsy at times. We've got Mr. Sweat at number four at Bong Lahore, and I did not mean to make that rhyme. He's five foot ten, four star weak foot, three star skill moves, 92 sprint speed, 88 acceleration, 82 strength, and he's a burner. Plus, he's very good in 1v1 situations in FIFA, which is kind of ironic because I don't think that's where he really excels in real life. And he has low agility, which means that he turns a bit slow, but once the ball gets out in front of him, he will not be caught. At number three, we've got Rodriguez playing for Real Madrid, and you can expect an upgraded card coming very soon. You heard it here first. Prediction made. Five foot ten, four star weak foot, four star skill moves. He's worth the hefty price tag. Has the finesse shot trait. 92 agility, 90 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, 85 ball control, 84 dribbling. Great shot. He's good at skill moves. He has nice pace to accompany and all this good stuff. And the only issue I have with him is he's very weak. If you hit him a little bit, he will fall off the ball, but overall, he's a good look, and you've got to have him in your starting 11, given an opportunity to put on a performance. At the runner-up position, we've got Eddie Johnson, the American. He's six foot tall, four-star weak foot, four-star skill moves. 90 for strength, 87 agility, 87 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, 82 jumping. The strength plus the skill plus the ability to finish in the air makes him the definition of a complete striker, especially on that silver level. I know his shooting stats don't look that good on paper, but trust, when you get in a match, he's able to finish. He can hit it from outside the box. He is a complete player. All around, he gives you everything you want. 
much in a striker, especially at a silver level. I can't stress that enough, but there's one guy that's a little bit better. He just holds a special place in my heart. Let me introduce you to Yasin Chikawi. Six foot two, five star weak foot, five star skill moves. The only other player in the entire game that shares that stat line is Neymar. He's got the finesse shot trait and he's unbelievable. 90 agility. So when he's executing skill moves, they're at zoom speed and he takes off so fast. He just walks around the opponent with ease. 84 positioning, 84 dribbling, 82 ball control, 85 stamina. He doesn't get tired. He's going to score at the end of the games. Here, score in extra time. He also has 72 strength. You're not pushing him around. It says that his shooting numbers are bad, but just like Eddie Johnson, does not mean anything. He's going to score from everywhere, both feet. Does not bother him whatsoever. His skill move execution is flawless. But if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at Mike9USA, and I have a lot more content come for you ASAP ASAP.